So here's what's going on in my life with my feelings lately. I am very overwhelmed, like feeling very overwhelmed by a lot of different things. I have a lot on my plate right now. Life feels very chaotic and messy and I don't want to make it sound like dark. It's not even that deep, but I do feel overwhelmed. I, I know I have to take a break, like my body is begging me to, to take a break and it's just not something I can do right now. Like That's not an option at this exact moment, but I have planned like three, two weeks off in June, like once I'm back from Spain, if you don't know, I'm going to Spain in a couple of weeks, I'll be there for a month. And once I'm back on the 14th of June, just forget about me until the end of June. Like I'll be back July 1st, happy and rested. But right now everything feels a little bit too much and I kind of have to figure out what to do with myself until, you know, those days when I can get some rest. And the only way I know how to do that is by organizing my Google Calendar and my Notion pages, you know, because such a huge portion of my life is like work and study. So if I have those things organized, looking clean, I know that I'm gonna feel better because they are indeed a reflection of how my mind feels. You know, if you look at my Google Calendar right now or my Notion pages, that that's a good reflection of how I've been feeling. <laughs> So I organized my Google Calendar and if you would like to see a video on time blocking, let me know in the comments because I know that when I learned about time blocking, that kind of changed things for me. So yeah, if you would like to see how I do that, let me know. But now I also want to organize my Notion with you, you know, create a brand new dashboard and just feel like I'm getting my shit together. You guys know I'm a Notion junkie, like that's where I keep ev everything, it's really my second brain, but that can also make it so cluttered, you know, like. I, I think if anybody goes to my Notion workspace, they're gonna be so lost. I have already deleted a lot of pages this morning and I made a list here of things that I want to kind of include in this new dashboard. So I'm actually using a notepad and I want to have a space for my goals by 12 weeks. If you're not familiar with the 12 week year like framework, it's basically a productivity framework, you know, that helps you achieve goals within 12 weeks. And I'm gonna link it in the description. I think I've talked about this before in the channel, but I'm gonna link a video by another YouTuber, you know, that's uh, where I learned about the 12 week year. And I've been following that for a while. And that's really nice because you don't have to be thinking like from January to March, I'm gonna do this, then April to June, I'm gonna do that. You just kind of, you, you start whenever you want to. And that's kind of the beauty of it. So I want to have a space to list uh, three goals for the next 12 weeks and a space for references because I just I like to say for example screenshots of landing pages that I find nice you know ideas of digital products that kind of stuff so I want to have a space like that a space for like just brain dumping ideas and tasks that they don't really have a set date and then another table view for daily and weekly tasks that I want to connect to my Google Tasks or Google Calendar with Zapier. So I have never done anything there, but Zapier is basically this tool that connects, like integrates two tools that don't necessarily have an integration between them. So you connect two different accounts and Zapier kind of does the job of syncing that information. So I really wanna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Like not how to do that, cause I don't know yet if that's gonna work, but yeah, we're gonna do that together. So I'm gonna, come over here and create my Notion dashboard and I'm gonna share every step with you. So we start, of course, with a blank page. I'm going to name it Live Dashboard for now and I'm going to add some cute emoji. You can upload your own icon if you want to and you can also add a cover here. So Notion has some pre-selected images but you can also upload your own. For now, I'm gonna leave it like that. And now I'm just going to start typing everything that I just mentioned that I have written down on my notepad. So I need a space for like navigation, sort of quick links, and then the 12 week goals space and my brain dump space, which is basically a table database, like a table view. So you just have to type slash table if you want this exact view and I'm going to need tags and a space for the title. So the tags are basically low, medium or high. Like if I want to act on, on something that I thought of or something like that, I don't have like specific dates for these ideas, but it's just nice to have it a little bit more organized and just styling it a little bit. Notion gives you some flexibility in terms of fonts and colors. So I just want to make it look as clean as possible.
And for my 12 week goals, I will use a gallery view. I took inspiration from Montel Bay. I'm gonna link her video here in the description. She has this 12 week template, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I'm gonna add my goals later. For the quick links, I'm just going to link to other Notion pages that I have. And the references page, I created a brand new one, but I already had some references saved. So maybe I'm gonna think just how to organize this better uh, later, like how that's going to look. And now my daily and weekly tasks, which are the ones that I want to sync with my Google Tasks or Google Calendar. So these are tasks that they have a set date to be complete. Now I'm going to create a template for my 12 week goal. So basically Notion gives you this option. So when you click new, instead of being an empty page, you can choose a template. So just to speed things up, you know, whenever I have to create a new goal, I will just have this template ready. And what I really need is a category date, you know, when we are starting, when we are ending the status. And I want to add some tables as well here, just to kind of keep track of what I'm doing every week to achieve that goal. So the principle of the 12 week year is to, to have tasks, you know, recur recurring tasks or just things that you do that every single day or every single week that are going to bring you closer to that goal. After 12 weeks, you have completed it. So yeah, just, I like to have little check boxes and if they are, especially if they are recurring tasks, I think that's a really nice thing to have. This will kind of be the template for every single goal of mine. I decided to split, you know, into three, four week periods so I can also add some learnings there, some notes every four weeks kind of review what's going on and you can keep like whenever you need to edit the template you can just go to that little arrow next to new and just edit the template and that's going to change future tasks so the ones that are already created will not be affected. Now, whenever I click new, I have the option to start a blank page or start with a template, or I can set it as default. So for me, it makes sense to set it as a default because whenever I click new, this is what's going to pop up for me. And I can also choose to show the cover image as the preview image. And I think that looks really nice. So I will change that later for sure when I start to write down my goals. But I just think having the cover image as the preview is a really nice touch. Now moving over to Zapier, they already had this suggestion of creating tasks in Google Tasks from new items in Notion. So all you have to do is just sync your Notion account. So you're going to connect it and then choose the database that you want to use. So for me, it was the daily and weekly tasks. You have to test it to keep going. And then you have to connect your Google account to Zapier as well. So pretty simple is the usual, you know, sign up with Google that we are used to. And here I just chose the title of the task and the date start. So it's properties date start, they call it. That's what's going to be added to my Google Calendar. So I tested, it's working and it's on. And here I decided to write down some tasks just to see if it's working, it wasn't. And then I realized that it's because I'm on the free plan, you know, Zapier's free plan and they have this uh, 15 minute interval. So they're going to check every 15 minutes for new tasks, but that's it. I will also leave this template linked in the description. If you haven't used Notion, this is a great way to get started just by duplicating other people's templates. There are a bunch of templates out there, free templates, and it just saves so much time having these templates ready to use. So make sure to grab yours. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go back and check out my other videos and I will see you next week.